the, the mindset been like for you guys so far in practice early on here? You know, it's uh, focus on us, really. Focus on our execution and making sure that we practice that hard the way that we know that we need to prepare. Uh, obviously, we want to beat them guys. It's definitely beat Miami in the back of our head, but when we out here working, it's not about them, it's about us. Uh, like the intensity, I know it's always pretty high, but the, especially like the one on ones and stuff over there. Is that is that what you're looking for as a as an interior defender like that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Man. You know, we love we don't the guys in the trenches. We love to hear them pass cracking. Like, that's why we play this game. Man. It's gonna be a physical game for sure. You know, not just because of who we are, but you know, we're gonna bring it to them. We're gonna bring it to them, and just because of this game, you know, it's gonna be a physical. So we definitely getting the pass proper today. Getting ready for that. So it's good. What do you like about playing defensive end versus playing linebacker, and how is playing linebacker in the past kind of helped you? Uh, I say there's a little bit less to think about it in, but you still have an opportunity to make very dominant, very game-changing plays, and that's one thing that I really love about this position. That you can change the game in one play, and uh, I feel like it's a great opportunity for me, and I feel like I'm the type of player that can make this way. So I'm excited to you know keep growing in that position. How much fun was Saturday for you to be that involved? And, 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 you've, and you've had good games this season, but it just seemed like you were constantly in the backfield. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, it was, it was, it was surreal, man. It was great to finally get there, finally get that sack. Um, you know, when you when you've been working and, and you've been, you be, you're that close, it, it's a great feeling to finally get that uh, that thing that you've been searching for, that that play that you've been searching for. But you know, that's just a stepping stone for me. I feel like that. There's more to come. I feel like I could have another game like that this week. You know, I think that that's just as long as I keep getting opportunities, I'm gonna take advantage. Can you walk us through a few years ago when they had asked you to move to defensive end? I guess what that conversation was like and what your initial thought was about that position change. Well, I had played defensive end before. I made the permanent move with a different staff and a different uh, position coach. And I enjoyed it, and I thought that you know. Yeah, as a player, you always feel like you, you deserve opportunities, whether you do or not. And I feel like I deserve some opportunities at linebacker I wasn't getting. And the, rather than hanging my head or yelling at or blaming someone else, they gave me an opportunity to move to a different position and, and make some plays there. So I decided to, to make the move and, and put my head down and work. And it's been history ever since. Well, some of the other coaches have been talking all year about, you know, how a consistent player you are. What kind of goes into being consistent with that? Just, a, just having pride in, in, in getting your assignment done. Uh, you know, as a veteran, I feel like there's a little bit of eyes on me for getting stuff like that done. As also, like, if a guy has a question, I want to make sure that I'm that guy that knows the answer, whether it's my position or not. I think that that's what really leads to my consistency is, is knowing the playbook, knowing the situations, and, and you know, being – being, uh, how would I say that? Being intentional, being intentional about about having those things on my mind while I'm playing football. Oh, it was great. I know y'all seen them in there moving around people. It was, it was great to see them out there having fun. Um, you know, it was good that we were able to, to to have the score that we did, so we could get off the field and he didn't have to play the whole game and stuff like that. So, but it was great. It was great to have Fabian back out there. I know he been he been upset not being able to play and having to watch, and it was great to see the smile on his face as he got to play and stuff like that. It was great. What was he like? Well, it was great to play. He wasn't playing. He was being involved and helping some of the young guys that were getting some time. Yeah, definitely still involved. Fabo is a big uh, motivational leader for us. He's a big like rah rah guy for us sometimes, and and when we needed that in some of those moments when he wasn't here, that he he, he definitely stepped up and. You know, try to light that fire under our butts. Uh, we definitely appreciate him for that. Fable is a great, great leader. A uh, great young man. We appreciate him. For sure. It's kind of nice that you have your full collection of defensive linemen now. It's been, you know, without Fabian and Jared, kind of not on 100%. I feel like you guys are kind of yeah. getting there now. Yeah, yeah, definitely getting healthy at the right time, and I think that's going to be great for us. How important are these last four games, you know, both rivals and Oh, yeah. They're all important, every single one. Uh, we feel like even the games that we lost, we shouldn't have lost. So we want to make sure we put a statement out here that, you know, we are the team that we know that we are and we can win out and, you know, be the team that we have prepared to be and just go show everything that we worked on. Can you walk us through the rehab process when you got here? I forget if it was Coach Fuller or Coach JP had said that, I mean, how engaged you were and 
come on, plays on the sideline. So just, what you did to kind of, one, physically get back to, to where you are now, but then two, to, to remain mentally engaged during that process. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, uh, unfortunately, tore my Achilles, some of y'all know, tore my Achilles in the spring, and uh, it was definitely tough. It was my first major injury, and I really didn't know how to deal with it mentally at first. So I decided to turn into something that I love, and that was football. So instead of just going home and, you know, being sad about it, not trying to watch and, you know, just doing my rehab at home and go home, stuff like that. I try to make sure I stay involved so I could keep my love for the game and, you know, keep my head in the playbook, you know, things like that. And I, uh, Coach gave me the opportunity to be a signaler. So I was out there, you know, signaling it up, getting us right, you know. Uh, and I thought it was, I appreciated Coach for the opportunity because I got to travel every game, even though I was hurt. And also I got to uh, really stay involved in the defense itself. I feel like even at times, like, they listen to my opinion on certain calls and stuff like that. So I kind of felt like a, a little assistant coach for the for a little bit moment. But it was definitely a, a, a period of, of learning, a period of growth. Like, uh, I would never want to be hurt again, but I definitely think I, I improved as a ment mentally as a player from that time. Do you think because of the journey, the injury, the position change, you might appreciate how far this defense has come? Oh, the program? yeah. I tell, I tell these guys all the time about – you know, I'm the old head, so I, I know how it was, and I tell them that it's not in day, man. Like, the way that we talk to each other, the way that we lift each other up, even just things like knowing the playbook, knowing our plays, like, it's not in day. And I think that we are trending in the right direction, and you, you guys to see it, and it's, it's going to keep going. I appreciate all the young guys who have been a part of building this up, and the old guys as well, for sure. You said you got to be part of making some adjustments for plays or whatnot? Not necessarily exactly. Okay. But, you know, I have an opinion on, oh, they're going to do this, and maybe we can run this. And they don't always listen, but I feel like, you know, I did have a little, you know, mini little input. Not Nothing crazy. I didn't call no plays, but, you know. <laughs> Would you want to get into coaching after whatever your football career is over? Is that something you consider doing for that I experience? Could. I, think, I think so. I think that I have a good mind for that kind of stuff. I think that I'm a good teacher. I think I'm a good uh, – I'm, a, I'm good at dealing with egos and stuff like that, so I think coaching would be a good avenue for me. We're going to work on this playing first. <laughs> I appreciate you guys.